Okay, so this is the last one, a uh, question of focusing on the resonance structure. And so in the airbag, it is made out of compound called sodium azide. Sodium azide looks like this. And sodium azide, and you look at that, that must be a sodium plus azide N3 minus. It is a, made out of a salt. So it is a compound with three nitrogen atoms are combined to have overall charges of molecule. And then you can, they show the structures uh, shown up here. Uh, there are four different ways. And then uh, identify the best and the worst resonance structures. So the best uh, resonance structure means charge delocalization. Charges are not uh, localized and spread out uh, with a minimum development of the for, uh, former charges versus charge localization and the disobey of the octet form. So because the nitrogen is involved, nitrogen is 4, has a, nitrogen is 5, okay, so nitrogen is 5, and this is an example of nitrogen, which has a, a former charges of this unit, has a, nitrogen is 5, and number of lone pair is 2, and half of, there are 6 electron from bonding electron, then makes it 5 minus 5 is 0. So this one make it neutral, okay? But now when you have a, something looks like this, or something looks like that, something looks like this, right? So this is an example where uh, you have four more charges, you can start to develop this, right? Four more charges of plus one. The reason is because it is a five minus no lone pairs and half of four bonds, which is eight electrons. So that's by doing so, um, you will have plus one four more charges. So those are the one has a plus one four more charge. And yet, uh, they have uh, eight electrons satisfying the octet rule, so that is that is a good thing. And I also start to notice that uh, these structures. So what do you what do you think about former charges here? Nitrogen is five. Lone pair is six. And then, uh, what do you think about the bonds? There are one bond, so two electrons. So uh, the number of lone pairs is 6. So it's a 5 minus 7. That's a minus 2. So it's a too much electron delocalized. That's a minus 2. So let's start to assign them. Uh, OK, so there is a, there's a one more. Uh, one looks like here. OK, so uh, let's, let me do this. So this is an 8 electrons octet row. That's good. So let's continue to to work on it. So another one is you can have a double bond with nitrogen with two lone pairs. So that's also eight electrons. And the four more charges is five minus four plus half of two bonds, four electrons. So that's a five minus six, which is a minus one. So this is a minus one. So now you start to have a sense of it. Uh, that's a minus one. That's a minus two. This is a plus one, and this is a neutral. Okay. So let's let's try to find out the charge zero localization here. So for example, this one uh, the is a minus one, minus one, zero. Okay. So there. Oh, that's actually not zero. This is a uh, this is a plus one. And what about here? Uh, this is a one. Do you have a one um, bond with a triple bond? So which is a one lone pairs with a triple bond? So this is actually another version is n with lone pair with triple bond. So that's the same thing as the one that is shown up here. So that must be 0. And this is a plus 1. And my, this is a minus 2. 
So minus 2 is a big problem uh, that you see here. And the other one here is, uh, this is uh, 0. And you got 5 bonds. I don't think that this is a 5 bonds that's possible. This is a 10 electrons. So this is a, a very uh, disobeying octet rule. And even more, this is, a, we are talking about N is 2, right? So this is really not good, okay? And then uh, this other, the other thing is a 1, uh, so this is a minus 1, okay? So that is another one. And the, the last one is, uh, this one is minus uh, 2. This is a minus 2. And this one is, what do you have? You have a 2 bonds, so there are 4 electrons. This is also uh, not an electron disobeying the octet rule. So this is not. So those, that's not good either. Okay. And so among these, uh, you have uh, the best and the worst of them. So I guess uh, these two are not good. No good. This is better. Among these, which is better? Minus 2 and plus 1, or minus 1, minus 1, and plus 1. So this is a winner. Okay? So this is a, what is called the best structure. And what about the worst structure? So let me use a red color. So this is, and so this is, a, this is a no good. Among this, which one will be the worst? Uh, this is a 0. And the minus one, or this is a minus two, minus two. So if you actually bother to calculate the former charges, although even octet rule is not satisfied, let's let's just do it for just uh, checking it. So nitrogen means five, and then how many lone pairs? None. Half of how many bonds? Two bonds, four bonding electrons. So five minus two is plus three. So this one has a plus three formal charges and a minus two, minus two. And, and that actually make, make it up uh, to be the minus one, right? So that's correct. But you know, too much of the charge delocalization here, this is the worst of all. And then the not enough electron to satisfy the octet rule. So therefore, this one is worst of them. Okay? This is the best of them. Okay. I hope this one explained that. And then the, I think this wording here, you can read it. Um, the left bottom has too many uh, electrons around the central atoms. The right bottom has too few electrons on the central atom. So we are talking about the disobeying the octet rule. And, and then you can find the correct solution there.